What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Dead Funny Podcast. I'm your host, Chris. Joined today is my co host, Kelsey and JoJo. And this time, Hello. I do give a fuck about what you guys are doing. What's going on? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow, thank you. <laughs> JoJo, what the wow. shit have you been up to? What the shit are you up to? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Shirt. <laughs> Got a shirt? Uh, there you go. <laughs> Halo. It's most just Halo. There you go. Have you been playing the campaign? Yeah, I finished it. Yes. Oh, you did. Nice. Yeah, I yeah. haven't downloaded it uh, yet. I want to. Well, also, it feels like there's a other game that they didn't make that like this game is a sequel to. Like the plot just glosses Ooh. over a bunch of stuff. <laughs> really? You know, there, there's like a whole bunch of stuff going on with Cortana at the end of five, and then this game's like, I don't know, that happened. That's been addressed. Let's do something else. Really? Wow, that sucks. And then sucks. they explain what happened as you go on, but it's like not what the game is about. You might think that that would be like what the game is about. It's not. Mm. Okay, huh. that's interesting. Weird. It's it's interesting that you say that because I've been hearing a lot of rumors that um the way this game was done, that like the next Halo is like set up to be like literally two years around the corner from right now. So I wonder yeah, I mean, versus like what they've normally been doing. Campaign stuff into Halo Infinite. Oh, okay, okay, that makes more sense. Halo Infinite for a while. Oh, makes sense with the fucking title, the Halo Infinite. Duh. Like this is yeah. this is the last right. Halo. We're just gonna keep cramming shit into it over time. That's okay, the idea. Guys, yeah, and, and it ends in a way where like, oh yeah, this is something else is gonna happen because they didn't. No. They it's like super cliffhanger. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I mean, Kelsey, if yeah. you've ever wanted to try out Halo, I would strongly recommend it because you can download the multiplayer to it for free directly off of Steam. Doesn't cost you anything. Mm. Just to be able to jump on and play the fucking multiplayer and you can play with literally fucking any of us. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. So if you ever wanted to get around maybe. to playing Halo and trying out, maybe we'll fucking record it, do some content, who knows? Never been a better time. Yeah. Never been a better time. <laughs> Honestly. My only concern with that is and this is this is maybe a little bit unfair. You know how there are certain games that have a really high, like, beginner threshold? Mm -hmm. Because the people that are playing it are so good. Like, I think actually League is a great example. Like, I will not play League of Legends. And it's not because of the toxic community. It's not because of a whole bunch of shit. It's actually because, the, like, trying to get into... Actually, it is because of the toxic community. <laughs> yeah, it should trying be. Trying to learn... <laughs> is like the toxic uh, community isn't enough to make me steer away from it except that like trying to learn would just be an absolute fucking shit show mm -hmm. and it'd be like all right well like okay fine then you support your game and i'll go like fuck off with other people that don't fucking suck yeah um and i feel like halo is one of those because the only people that i know that really enjoy playing halo are the people that will like pwn the fuck out of everybody with halo and it's a like i'll come play with you and then it's like no you'll come destroy me without even trying and like that's not fun for me if that makes sense like i want to learn i have no problem like having my ass kicked you guys have seen me have my ass kicked by chris on this channel like we know i can do this but i like having no other like there's no teaching there's no like here's how you get better at this there's not even an opportunity to get better at this it's just like i'm going to beat you into paste and then i'm going to step on the paste a whole bunch and watch you splatter along the walls like that doesn't feel good to the paste. i mean compared to league of legends or whatever halo matches are pretty quick you just this kind of happen like and mm -hmm. yeah i mean i don't you're not playing ranked so like no one's gonna yeah someone might get mad at you but like not a lot of people have voice chat on anyway so you won't know about it Mm -hmm. And plus, uh, I mean, there's like one weird guy who's talking like, yeah, his total dick. Yeah, I mean, reason, but... I wouldn't worry too much about that because I, I mean, at this point, especially with, you know, if you came and did something with me, it's like you've been enough to one of my game. I mean, we literally are able to fill a full lobby of big team Slayer, just one team. So you would be playing with 12 people who you basically know like half the fucking people. Like mm -hmm. all of us are all like me, JJ, you've played with my mom, you've played with my aunt, like all of us, like we're all getting on. Like we literally, the other night we were playing, we literally had big team battle is 24 people, 12 v 12, and we had 11 of the 12. So Ooh. all in my discord, just talking and playing Halo, drinking and having a good time. Like literally that's all it was. And none of us are fucking, the only people who are going to be talking shit is me talking shit to my cousin because he always thinks he's better than me. And that's it. <laughs> like literally other than that, everybody's laughing at each other and shit like that. People are driving vehicles off the edge on accident. Like literally 
fucking the la- the last time we played, which was fucking hilarious, was we were trying to capture the flag, and we were returning ours, and I just found out that you could stay inside your vehicle and get on the flag point, and it will still return it. So I was flying around in a banshee, so I just dove that bitch, nosedive directly into the flag. So here I am in this spaceship that's ass up in the air, and I'm just sitting on the flag, just returning our flag, and my mom comes running over this rock trying to get down there to get on the flag. Well, she falls and lands on my wing. So I start backing up because the flag returns. She's still on my wing, but she's caught. She's trying to get off of it, but she's, like, stuck. So I fucking just hightail it to the edge of the map and then do a quick left turn and slung shot her ass 300 feet <laughs> off the fucking map and killed her. It was fucking hilarious. It was the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. That sounds oh, amazing. Gosh. Yeah. So like I said, I mean, no one is like fucking doing it to be like super fucking competitive or serious. No one cares. It's not ranked. We're just all fucking playing right. to play. So I don't and think I've played a lot yeah. of it. A lot of people are garbage. Yeah, the game. there's a lot of people on there who are just no good. So you'll, you know, you'll yeah. fit right in. Yeah, <laughs> and it's mean, not. I mean, you got people to progress against. You yeah, know, to learn. that's true. We're all learn. And if you're just using the weapons, I mean, it's the the killing curve to be able to get up there is not that hard. But trying to get used to all the different equipment and everything else, that's a different stra- that's a different scenario. But I feel like they made this Halo a lot easier to play because the equipment, instead of it being something you pick and put on your Spartan before you go into battle, it's stuff that's on the map that can be picked up every, like, ten minutes or five minutes or whatever they reset the stuff. So, like, you know, for instance, like, if you picked up the grappling hook, you get three grapples and then it's gone until it fucking comes back five minutes from now. So it's not like you're at that much of a disadvantage because, like, some people are getting it and some people aren't. So then okay. you're just using weapons against the other people that aren't. So then it's just getting used to the weapons. That's literally mm-hmm. it. So, and you can plug which your controller up. Games. So, oh, yeah. okay. which is a little bit easier for people because then you got aim assist too. So, cause that's on hey. controllers. Hey, I was doing my keyboard and mouse for a while. And then I was like, I've been playing halo on a controller since the fucking birth of halo. Like, yeah, I right. Just, I like- would not adjust to that right? i tried i tried i got all excited about it i pulled up my software where i can command my keyboard and my mouse and my mic to all do these specific colors when i'm playing halo like i do with all my different games and i had it going like it looked like uh red and white flashing through like gunshots and stuff like that because i had a meal and the meal's like pauldron is red and white and i, I decked it all out and then I played it for probably somewhere around two, two and a half weeks straight on keyboard and mouse. And then I plugged in a controller one time and easily doubled my fucking KDA. So I was like, all right, I guess I'll just stay okay. on the controller. So, <laughs> yeah. So there's that. But yeah, I haven't gotten around to the campaign yet, but I am excited to play it. I can't believe they released it as only single player campaign and that co-op is coming next year. So Yeah, I mean, it really seems like they... Someone told them they had to release something for Christmas or whatever, you know, like... Doesn't surprise me. It's supposed to be money. last Christmas when this came out. Yeah, so then... Um, uh, yeah, it sounds like the uh, development of the game was troubled. Yeah. <laughs> like, they were a bunch, there were a bunch of people in that studio who disagreed about what the game was supposed to be. They maybe restarted it <laughs> mm. a bit. Well, I will uh, say this much. Yeah. If people hadn't noticed it yet, Halo is officially the pony that microsoft is gonna ride until it fucking dies so and it is it is starting to uh not be able to just you know jog anymore it's 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 starting to walk we're starting to walk at this point that poor horse it is uh yeah so and i know you watch our content and i know that you're gonna disagree with me and text me immediately after you see this but brandon it's time to wake the fuck up i'm talking to you specifically this guy is the biggest Microsoft supporter I have ever seen in my fucking life. And he will have nothing bad said about Microsoft, any of its products, or especially Halo, since he has, I think at this point, around 20 tattoos on his body dedicated to that game. So, yeah. Yeah, dude, he's he's full on out. You didn't get to meet Brandon, but he's full on out, man. Yeah, he's got fucking... He's got the red team Spartan with the actual red team symbol on this forearm. Yeah. Blue team Spartan with the blue team symbol. I think it's like a shark. I can't remember what the other one was. Uh, he's got the ODST drop ship right here. He's got the legendary skull over here. Like he is tatted up, like all Halo. So that's something. Okay, dedication. Wow. It's dedication. Like Wait, I said. I mean, hey, in their defense, like this is the best received Halo in since 
Reach, I guess, probably, yeah. you know? Reach like, or three. For a long time. Yeah. I, yeah, but comparing your bar to shit is not helpful. Like, when you're just like, the bar's on the ground, look, we went hey, over it. People, like, I mean, Halo 4 was alright. I don't think I've yeah. ever agreed with Kelsey more in my life. Like, right there. <laughs> like, that sounds like some shit I would right. say and you yeah, would argue Halo with me game. about. That's... Yeah. That's an exciting Halo game. Yeah. I mean, them making the multiplayer free was good, but... At the same time, obviously, it's like, let's get on this whole microtransaction train that everybody else is on. So. Yeah. And it did. They, and it works. No! Call of Duty makes no. And... Tell they get your money. Hold on to your money. I've already yeah. spent money on Halo. It's already happened. So. <laughs> it might have been a free download, but it's not free for me anymore. I've at least spent 30 Battle bucks. Pass. Yeah. I bought the Battle Pass and the first suit of armor that was up with the, the knockoff of the EVA helmet. But other than that, I haven't bought anything. Well... Chris, when you do a microtransaction, do you at least hear me in the back of oh, your head? Oh, for sure now. Absolutely. Like, I, I'm God. super excited because while you were on vacation, I got my Aerith statue in. I got her all nice and set up in her praying stance and everything. And then today I got my Reno in. And as I was setting my Reno, but I was like, oh, he looks so cool. I can't wait to show him off to like Kelsey in the night. And I was like, and I know Kelsey's first thing is going to be like, how much did that cost you? Like, so. Uh huh. Yeah. So. I have never asked you how much they cost. You've told me. Uh, 175 I, each statue. I know if I ask. As. Hey! Final Fantasy 13, let's hey, go! As. Yeah! 13. $55, he says. I wish mine were $55. <laughs> I got Rude coming out this month and Sephiroth next month, so. Yeah. No, I went and looked up my pre order list earlier today, and it is, uh. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, sad. There you go. Oh, you have, uh. I have a tree! Well, if it makes it's you very, feel, <laughs> if it makes you feel worse, country. I finally found, I told this to Jojo and shouted off to Jojo when I got it. Um, I finally found the final Final Fantasy VII remake pre-order bonus being sold separately. And it was on some fucking game website that was like in Australia or some shit, which is why I didn't have it. And somebody was selling it on Amazon, 50 bucks for this little guy. <laughs> He's holding a little chocolate That is more than my tree. And I have <laughs> wanted this tree, this exact tree for six years i've wanted this since before scott and i got married and i walked away from it and then found it randomly and it was like scott i need this this has to be purchased and so i've wanted this tree for six years and it, it has made nice me tree. happy every single day do you is plan on painting it something i don't understand the context of this tree you guys are showing off your sculptures i'm showing off oh, the no, things that like, like i don't know why why did you want that tree specifically is it from mass effect no it is not from mass effect it is um if you you can probably see that it's all kinds of curly and wibbly mm -hmm. wobbly. Yeah. It's um, oh, something out of a fucking it, Dr. Seuss book. I love it. Um, it's carved by a very specific artist that mm. um, he does this, and it reminds me of. So I'm originally from Northern Idaho, and I don't know if you guys have you either of you ever been to the top of a very tall mountain? Um, yes. Particularly one that's particularly cold. Um, you'll usually yeah. notice that the trees are very short and if they aren't short kind of as you're getting closer to the top you get trees that do this where they 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 bend really mm. crazily and then at the top you'll notice um like some of my favorite ones they are they're like the ground is here and they are right here like they they do not grow straight up because the wind and the snow push them so hard that they actually grow to the side like they usually don't even have branches on one side they grow to the side and they are they are all kinds of wibbly wobbly and so this like it reminds me of home there you like, go. It reminds me of the way that trees actually look when they're under like nature and stress, and they're not just like, "Look, I have planted a maple in my backyard, and I treat it with great respect at all times." Are you going to so paint it? That makes me it? happy. No, it's no, no. It's it. I was why asking. Would, why would you paint this? It's got striations just, and uh, stuff like that from the tree. It's carved okay. out of mulberry. Okay. I've never even seen a mulberry tree to the best. I'm of just life. asking. I I don't know. I don't know. Like you guys me, have your statues. I like trees. Uh, hey, I'm right there with you. Sure. I almost wore my beanie today just because it's fucking Timberland. So it's the fucking tree sign. I love trees. I'm all about trees. <laughs> I love trees. This podcast took yeah. a weird turn because I'm like, yeah. look, guys, I have a tree. Yeah. You guys are the sweetest. Thank you. Yeah, they're great. I see if I have a tree within arm's reach. So. <laughs> I believe you. Oh, I believe man. in you. <laughs> I love trees. You can find one. I'm big I don't on that know stuff. that I do. <laughs> I actually got two of them. The other one's way cooler, but this is the one that I wanted. There you go. But the other one, like it's um, it's a 
it was a smaller tree that he carved it from mm -hmm. so it's got all kinds of bark and stuff like that so Ooh. when he carved it out like it actually still has like little bits of moss and then because he carved through the bark to make the much wider tree it doesn't mm -hmm. like wibble the way that mine does which is why i don't love it as much but because he carved through the bark like oh, it, yeah, has, yeah. it goes from like dark well scott can hear me and i don't want him to hear that i'm less satisfied with the one we spent more money on um but it goes from super dark to super light and so it looks kind of like the trees on fire and it's really cool with how much that i know that you don't spend a lot of stuff on yourself i am pretty sure scott is not gonna give a shit he's probably That's sitting down there just like true. he's down there just like i'm just glad she got something she likes i don't care if it's even she likes it a little less she likes it she bought it like i know that's how i would be in his situation i'd be that's like exactly fucking she got something she think. likes yes. so yes <laughs> getting me to spend money on me is a, a fight uh, a dumb fight yeah i could see that i could see yep. that <laughs> um so since you uh since you brought it up earlier well you kind of talked about it a little bit and it's it's something that i brought up on the last last podcast so league of legends kelsey hey. have you watched arcane i've been dying to talk to you about this no okay no idea what you're you have to like if there's ever been something i told you you have to watch this is a you have to it's on netflix okay it's nine episodes they're all like 30 minutes a piece and it's a tv show that's based off of league of legends characters alone whenever you go and look up the characters oh. on the game their 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 whole like story on the game is like two sentences long so all this story we're getting in the show is new to people who even play the game like i do and i mean it's like it blew through the netflix's top spot like instantly fucking instant i have people like my grandparents who are watching this and are like holy fuck had, literally called me my grandma called me the other day goes have you heard of this show called arcane i'm like B did you watch it it's fucking amazing <laughs> yes yes i did so i first, like the two seconds of surprised blubbering yeah. that you had like <laughs> <laughs> i didn't expect my mom to, or my grandma to be like oh yeah i watched arcane by the way and then without me being the one to be like hey you should check this out um, so yeah, it blew through Net Netflix's top spot by the second day it was released. It already got greenlit for a second season. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah. It, uh, fucking blew the fuck up and no one saw it coming. Right. It's like I said, last time we were talking about this on the podcast, no one comes close to riot at this point, Riot is a gaming company. It's fucking insane. Everything that they're doing. No one comes close. Like I know I've, you've seen KDA's fucking music video and stuff. I know you've seen that so many yeah. times. Yeah. So like, it's, it's like the artwork and stuff is almost like that. Like, I mean, it's li literally it's all their same fucking company doing all that. It's it's such a fucking amazing. So I watched the first episode, and Tony was a little bit ahead of me. And he was all like, you really need to make sure, because they were releasing it in three episode batches every week. <laughs> and so three weeks total. Um, he's all like, so you need to get through the first three episodes. And I was like, okay, well, the, show's, the show was never slow. I started all the first episode. I was like, oh, it's good. You know, I'll watch it whenever I get around to it. It's definitely <laughs> a good show. I like it. Now I watched the second episode and I was like, mm, okay, this show's getting pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of liking this show. That's all the third episode. And I was like dying, waiting for the next batch to come out. And then the next batch after that. Like, by the time you finish the third episode, it is such a fucking emotional roller coaster. Like, I didn't know how to feel about myself. When I walked out of this room, I just looked at my girlfriend and I was like, I have a problem. And she's like, what? And I was like... I need you to watch Arcane because I have no one to talk to about. <laughs> I need somebody to talk to about this fucking show. <laughs> and she watched it on her own and she fucking loved it. It's it's such a great fucking show. Oh, it's so good. So yeah, you need to watch it because um, what, what I was getting to with the whole my daughter's favorite music video. Imagine Dragons made the intro song for this one and it's called Enemy. <laughs> And this is how you know the show is good, too. If you just go watch the music video, Enemy, it has all the same characters and everything from the show and all these different scenes and stuff. Not a single scene is reused. They completely oh, made wow. an entire music video that has all the characters and all shit that seems like it happens in the show. None of it's reused. None of it's brought from the show. Damn. Zero spoilers. You can watch it in zero fucking spoilers. Fuck crazy. So, shh. I put that on, doesn't matter what my daughter's doing. She can be in the most awkward stance in her fucking life. And for the next three minutes and 45 seconds, she's sitting there watching that music video. I don't know what it is about it. That music video is her jam. It's her shit. So, like, she gets a little cranky. Attached. We give her some medicine because she's teething and stuff. She's still feeling cranky. And it's like, ah, oh, do something to take her mind off. I put that on. It's like, <laughs> And then, bam, next three minutes and 40 seconds, that's what she's doing. She's watching that fucking music video. It's insane. So yes, please, for love, God, you've got to. I want to you do. Me. I want to do review show 
on the second season of Arcane when that comes out. Because we'll be able to do it like week by week for the three episode dump. Because it's an hour and a half for three episodes together. So... Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. And trust me, like it is blowing up everywhere. That's all anybody's talking about. And I was like, I can't wait for Kelsey to get back because I need to tell her <laughs> she needs to watch Arcade. I've been waiting so long to fucking say this to you. Oh my god, the show is so good. It's just so good. Oh, a uh, quick, quick review show of that Imagine Dragons song. I don't like that Imagine Dragons song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Uh, at the Game Awards, they had yeah, this they did performance. It. Yeah, they did it live uh, at the Game Awards. The guy, the, the, the uh, composer of Bastion and the singer, Darren Corb, whatever, they played a great song from the game Bastion. And they had the fucking Imagine Dragons guy come and, and wrap it up with his his enemy song. It's like a mashup. And it's just like, oh, here's this really great song. Oh, and then here's Imagine Dragons guy to crap all over it. Oh. Are you just not an Imagine Dragons fan? I don't necessarily hate them, but it's like, compared to the thing they were interrupting, not yeah, so good. Fair enough. It, it's so weird. Whenever I say the words Imagine Dragons, like so many people, that's like what I get is I'm always met with like, eh, eh. I mean, I, the main complaint that I hear all the time is like all their songs sound the same. Yes, absolutely. That's I the main complaint thinking, I get like, all the like, time. When it was radioactive, it was like, ah, oh, this is fine, I guess. And then it's like, oh, wait, this other song just came out. Oh, this is also just radioactive. Mm. Now, I will say, watching the show, the intro, the small little snippet of the song, not the music video, but watching the small yeah. little snippet of the song for the, the the intro, it's fucking fire. Like, with the scenes and shit they put up for the fucking characters. And the way the intro starts reminds me of the intro to Daredevil, by the way. The Netflix show Daredevil. Like, that's literally oh, yeah. what it reminds me, just the way it's starting up. But then it goes that's into the intro. fucking... Oh, my God, dude. It's... Oh, the show's good. It's just good. It's I've never... Watched. I mean, I'll put it this way. Kelsey, you know Tony. You've met Tony. Even Tony has said this is probably one of the greatest TV shows he's ever watched. Like, Tony is a hard fucking critic. Like, hard fucking Yeah, critic. he is. And I completely What's agree with it. What's another TV show he thinks is good? Uh, Firefly. Okay, that would be the top. Right. Yeah. Uh, fucking That's amazing. Stargate Al- Al- Atlas or whatever the fuck it is. Have we gotten you to watch Firefly? No, I'm going to, though. That is definitely on the list. It's Nathan Fillion. I have to watch it. I love Nathan Fillion okay. anything he's in. So if, if alone I'll watch it just because of Nathan Fillion, and if I hate it, then I'll just be like, well, the show sucked, but Nathan Fillion was great. Like, I it's mean, like- Castle. I don't I don't really watch a lot of cop shows, like those those drawn-up yeah. cop shows. They don't really get me besides Brooklyn Nine-Nine because I love fucking Andy Samberg so much. Thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, it's like a nit that I don't really care about that much. It just doesn't really call to me where it's like, oh, oh serious. Like, that fucking person was murdered. Let's figure it out. I don't really care about all that. I watch fucking Castle just because fucking Nathan Fillion. I sat through that entire fucking show for him. Like, I'll watch anything he's in. I love Nathan Fillion. So Firefly is on the fucking list. Okay, good. Because it, it was like... <clears throat> On on my on my if I'm gonna stick Chris in a hole <laughs> and force him to watch things and play uh, like video games that I love, um, obviously Mass Effect is in that hole. Yeah, um, Firefly is also in that hole. Um, those are about the two things I think I'd start you with, and then I'd probably throw in Dollhouse. And then if you've watched Firefly, watched Dollhouse, and played at least the first Mass Effect and started the second, then you can come out of the hole. <laughs> Uh, the only thing that sucks though is like I love Kelsey so much. She's one of my greatest friends. It's like our interests could not be further apart. Like it just couldn't. It just physically couldn't. Like you like so much space shit, and I'm just like I hate it. I don't know why. I just I'm not a fan of the Final Frontier. I don't care. It doesn't grip to me. But at the same time, but, you do like but, a lot of medieval stuff too. I gotta give that to you. Mainly I when it like involves magic. Stuff. Mainly when it involves magic. You like magic. Mainly when it involves magic. But I do enjoy medieval stuff kind of in general. Um, also. You and I are both suckers, and I think this may be true for JoJo as well. We are suckers sucker. for like a good narrative, yeah, like that's fair. a good sure. like lore filled like it's got a great story, mm-hmm. and that's why I'm pretty sure I can get you on some of this shit because the story is really good, and you're gonna like it, and you're not even gonna know that you like it until you're done. You're gonna be like, "This is good shit." That's fair. You can spend seven hours in a in a in a computer terminal in a citadel learning about the Krogans. The Krogans. Just reading. <laughs> one of my friends. So we got one of my friends to play Mass Effect, and her, um, hmm, 
one of my other friends is the one who got her to play Mass Effect because they were dating at the time. And he did everything great because he got her to play Mass Effect. Wonderful thing. But the only thing that he might have been able to do a little bit better is he's a deep lore person. So he wants to know everything about everything. Mm Mm-hmm. And in the game, there is a journal where you can read about every single planet that you find. You can read about every race. You can, like, you can read a lot. You can read a textbook's worth of information. He mm. forced her to read Ouch. all of that. Oh, no. Ouch. And the oh, thing no. is, is, like, you don't have to read that to enjoy the game. Yeah, no. that's, that's, that's a rough one, I, especially with what you just pointed out about me as well. Like, it's... For, for anybody else who's planning on doing this exact same thing, don't do it. It's not a good idea because most of that stuff is like in-game content where you can like, I'm about to beat the game. Now I can go learn all this other stuff and then finish the game or realistically a second playthrough kind of content. So that way you're learning even more stuff as you're going through. That absolutely murdered Bioshock for me. Bioshock is probably mm-hmm. one of the top franchises out there back in its day. And I loved everything about it. I had to 100% it my first time through. That was just my, 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 my process. Besides the one achievement where you can't die at all. But researching everything was one of the things. So reading every note you came across oh, and sure. then taking the pictures of the enemies. You have to take like 100 pictures of each enemy in different angles and stuff to fully research every enemy. I maybe got through half of the game and I was like, I can't, I can't. I, I literally have yeah. no desire to play this game yeah. anymore. And it sucks. It fucking sucks because I know how much I loved it getting into it. Because it's got the we're in rapture under the water, dark and deep, mysterious shit. And I was like, oh, fuck yeah, dude, this is awesome. And I loved every part about it. I even went and played the, the second one. I enjoyed the second one. I never played the third one. But, like, I never finished the first one. Like, I, it just fucking wow. just destroyed the game never, for me. Like, there's a huge twist in that game. Oh, I know what it is. I finally okay. read it. I just didn't have... Yeah, like, I had no more willpower left in me to turn yeah. that game on and try to get my way through it because That's I knew I would look at yeah, the achievements game. and I have that mindset of look how much work I've done. Am I really yeah. just going to oh. let this go? And I knew I would hate myself for the next month or whatever it was going to take me to finish that. So I just said, fuck it. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. And see, in Mass Effect, those aren't achievements. Yeah, Those are that. 100% voluntary. I have 100%ed Mass Effect more than once, mm. and I haven't read a damn thing. I didn't even know that the journal was there in any meaningful way until my friend told me, "Hey, like, I'll because they they broke up and she didn't get to play the the like I think it was the second or third game." And so I was like, "Um, I own it. Never Here you go." Like, I thought that's like, where that was going first when you were first talking about yeah. this. I thought what you were going to say was that she liked the game. And then he broke up with her, and then, like, the game is kind of, like, now this sore no, thorn in her no, side no, 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 of, no, like, ah, no. oh, it makes me think about it. Okay, gotcha. But when I gave her the game, she's like, I'm not going to read all the journals. And I'm like, there are journals? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, and the problem is none of that stuff comes up organically. It's just there's a computer terminal if you want to just read all this information. Yeah. like. Makes well, sense. Otherwise, you will never know about the deep shit going out the L core. You know, I mean, there are people that yeah, live for that shit, though. <laughs> so it's very smart for them to put that in for their fan base. Yeah, yeah that's very smart. And, and the guy she was dating is one of them. And go. it's like, it's great because, A, he knows all this information. But not only that, he recalls it. So when he, Scott, and I are having chats, like, in real life, when we're just kind of standing around his dinner table kind of thing, like, he's able to be like, well, no, like, the political situation is what drove that. And I'm like, that never made sense to me. And then he's able to like educate me mm. about this game that I deeply love, but I didn't, I didn't go and read the voluntary. Like I need to learn everything about the Elcor, for example. Like I know enough to think they're cool. I don't know everything about their political makeup or why they work. The probably way the only work. thing I read was the stuff about the Elcor. And well, like yeah. And awesome. Awesome. So I also love the hand art. No? Yeah. yeah. See, I can appreciate that, though. I mean, with the amount of shit that I've done for Final Fantasy as a series, as a whole, not even just seven included, like, I can appreciate that. Like, oh, yeah. Going no, through I'm all just... those extra volumes and shit, like, I can absolutely appreciate that, so. It's a huge amount of love to put into something, and it's a huge amount of love from the developers to, to take, like, the developers and the, the story writers and all of that to create a world that is that big. And so I'm so glad that there are people that, don't just like i have 100 percent of the game like i love that game but it takes a whole new level of love to be like no i really like i want to know every 
scrap of information that there is. And I'm so glad he's one of those people because like they made it for him and that's fantastic. I'm just not. <laughs> I feel <laughs> and, bad and for him. significant other isn't, maybe don't force them to be. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I feel bad for him because I feel like people in that situation, I'm definitely throwing myself in this, in this situation as well. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're destined to never be happy. Like with that kind of situation, <laughs> because you're never going to find somebody with that same amount of knowledge about that one specific game. And if you do, the chances of you like actually being like able to stand each other and not constantly argue and fight about certain things or how you interpreted things are slim to none. So that's automatically a relationship in here. And two, the only other option is or the, technically there's two other options. One, you would have the Kelsey, the one that likes the game, plays the game, doesn't care about all the other stuff besides hearing it casually. And it's not going to sit down and have a five hour conversation with you about political views between these two fucking factions in a video game. So then you feel like you're constantly annoying the shit out of them. And then there, then that isn't going to lead anywhere. Or the last one, which is the current situation I'm in, where my girlfriend, as loving as she is, decides to try to have interest in Final Fantasy VII, and I have to constantly remind myself as I'm talking, do not go overboard, do not go overboard, do not go overboard, because I could sit here, as you guys know, on the fucking channel, and talk about Final Fantasy for, I don't know, how many months did we fucking do that semester? So, I can talk about Final Fantasy VII all goddamn day. That's just seven. That has nothing to do with all the other ones, which... You guys have seen my shelving. My entire bottom shelf is nothing but volumes of fucking Ultimanias and books in between games. Like, that is all Final Fantasy related content down there. I can do this all fucking day. So, I feel like we're just fucked. We're just destined to to forever just have to, you know, mind ourselves of not, you know, just overdoing the situation. Because, like I said... It's never going to happen. Even if you find somebody with that same kind of love for a different game. Like, for instance, like if me and that guy were in the same room, like we still, it, it, you have that appreciation for the the amount of love you put in that game. Yeah. But the problem is, is that he's going to want to talk to me about my aspect and I'm not going to give a shit. And I'm going to want to talk to him about Final Fantasy and he's not going to give a shit. And yeah, it just doesn't work. We're just destined to be alone. That's all it is. It sucks. I not alone, just alone in that, that <laughs> specific love. <laughs> we'll see. I feel you, dude. Sorry. I may just truly alone. Also. <laughs> no. Yo. Yeah. So not, you're held down by the weight of your knowledge, and you can't. <laughs> you can't converse anymore. with less weighty oh, people. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Well, anyways, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this podcast. We're coming to time. Hopefully, you guys want to put in that kind of knowledge on all of our videos. Go check them out. It's great. It's a good time. You can talk to anybody you want to about. You can come talk to me about Dead Funny all day long. I'm completely okay with that. Anyways, because, I mean, about like fucking half of our content there for a while was nothing but Final Fantasy related. So, <laughs> let's go. Anyways. Um, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. If you guys enjoy this content, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications. That way you, you get another notification every time we upload another video. Hit us in the comment section below. Let us know your thoughts, views. We have Twitter, Twitch, and merch links down there as well. So make sure you check those out. Support us any way you want to. Sharing, liking, subscribing, commenting. It's all great. It's all fantastic. We love to have conversations. Jump into it below. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great week. See you next time.